This is ABC News Nightline. Reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. Good evening. For most of his television career, at least, John Belushi careened at a breakneck pace between the irreverent and the outrageous. It was not only his comedy that was unpredictable, there was always a strong sense that the act was a reflection of the man, and the man a bizarre reflection of a generation. Now John Belushi is dead. Not perhaps a superstar of international range, but an especially talented member of an especially talented group that raised television satire to new heights. Okay, Eunice Travel Plans, I need to be in New York on Monday, LA and Tuesday, New York on Wednesday, LA and Thursday, New York on Friday, got it. So you want to work here? What really makes you think you deserve a job? Here? Well, sir, I think on my feet, I'm good at figures and I have a sharp mind. Excellent, can you start on Monday? Well, I'm in conclusion, Jim, Bill, Bob, call Fred, load dog, eight and ten. Business is business, so let's get to work. Thank you for taking me. Pete, you did a bang up job on putting you in charge of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. I know it's perfect, Peter, that's why I picked Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's perfect, Peter, may I call you Pete? Congratulations on your deal in Denver, Dave. I'm putting you down to deal with Dallas. In this fast moving, get it done yesterday world, aren't you glad there's one company that can keep up with it all? Federal Express. But it absolutely positively has to be there overnight. Play to win. You never lose when seven up the one you choose. It's a natural kind of taste. Nothing else comes here. Seven up cools your test. Seven up the difference is clear. That's what only it can do. Nothing else comes here. <laughs> It's a clean, refreshing taste. Seven up, the difference is clear. Seven up, cool you. Seven up, suits you. Seven up, the difference is clear. Futura. For 82, it's more car for less money. With more standard equipment than ever. And an all-new deep well trunk. Futura. More car for less money than last year. Beautifully priced, beautifully equipped. Actual retail price, $675. It's Judith Wick. Judith Wick. Hi, Judith. Oh, thanks. Yes, Judith. Yes. Yes, I think we're going steady now. Oh, I love you. you <laughs> Weekends are a good time to escape to the woods. Unless the weekend begins with Friday the 13th. Because 13 is an unlucky number. But out here, so are one through twelve. Because these are Jason's woods. And nobody leaves them alive. Jason, you can't fight him.
can't stop him. Mississippi River, the same for Game 2, 1982 World Series between the Milwaukee Brewers and St. Louis Cardinals. Working hard against the clock could mean perspiration on Comparing all leading battery brands after two years, nothing outlasts the Energizer from EverReady. Nothing outsnaps it, nothing outadds, outwalks, outtapes, outshines, outlasts it, nothing. Get yourself around one, Colt 45, Colt Liquor, Colt 45 is the dynamite. Get yourself around one, Colt 45. So one reason they taste so fresh and hot and juicy is that they've never been frozen stiff. You want something better. You're Wendy's kind of people. Competition, they're so honest. The Commodore 64, what nobody else can give you at twice the price. Ici, Radio-Canada. Next on Hill Street Blues, will private lessons with a high school girl place J.D. behind bars? Later on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, Johnny's back. Join the fun as the King of Comedy welcomes Anthony Newley, Suzanne Fajette, and sign language expert Cindy Cochran. Then on Late Night with David Letterman, meet Linda Ellerby of NBC News Overnight. <laughs>